Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base destruction video, and this one is a Town Hall 8. I'm actually over at Alpha. Uh, Genesis is off doing uh, a social uh, clan war in another clan, so I went ahead and went over to Alpha just to hang out for a little while, and uh, because of that, I'm going to take advantage of all the Town Hall 8s they have and do a Town Hall 8 base destruction. I tend to like to have three uh, attacks, but this was a good example. It only has two attacks in the space. The first one was a fail. The second one uh, cleaned it up and got the three star. But uh, even though it's only two attacks, I think it's still a good learning opportunity. It, it shows some good Town Hall 8 gameplay. And uh, taking a look at this base, we have the Teslas, the giant bombs drawn in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show the first attack. Uh, in a minute and we'll see how that ended up going but first uh, just a few things about this base and keep in mind it has a balloon and a dragon in the CC which I think is not a good CC composition anymore I think uh, you're much better off doing a uh, a few Valks because those level 5 Valks are really powerful and pretty hard to kill in the CC uh, I've seen that in some other attacks so I would recommend Valks but anyway has a dragon and a balloon uh, that's just that so uh, the first, or actually let me, let me talk about the base a little bit more before I get into the first attack. Um, so this is one of those bases that has the three giant bomb spots. Pretty typical. It might even be a forum base. I think we've seen this a lot. Uh, but it's worth, you know, taking a look at, seeing how you can three star it. And uh, it has these three double giant bomb spots, just like that. And when you look, you know, it has the dead space there, dead space there. On this one, it has the dead space there, there. And then there, there. By dead space, I mean there's no immediate defenses. This one, there kind of is. These two are pretty close to being a single trigger on that set. Because of that, I would eliminate it if you're trying to kind of gas on a first attack. I would say it's going to either be here or here. And uh, considering the sweeper's only a two space building and there's kind of a possibility of a single trigger, I think here is the best spot. Now, it's easy to say that after I've already seen that it actually is there. But. Um, that would be my guess. You obviously can't eliminate anything because you never know what the base builder is going to do. They might even have three single bombs. You never know. So anyway, uh, as far as the rest of this base goes, pretty standard stuff. All the point defenses on that outer layer makes it easy to target with hogs. That is something that could have been used. We'll talk about that in just a minute by the first attacker. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, everything's pretty much maxed out. The king's only level 8 and the walls aren't maxed, but that doesn't really matter. So... Um, yeah, like I said, this base, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. I think it's somewhat of a common base, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the first attacker's plan, which is actually a Valk attack. So uh, the plan was just to create a funnel here, which goes fine, and then send in the Valks right like that, let them make their way through, and uh, goes ahead and drops the Quakes in the core right here, just like that. Now that doesn't let the Valks get past this little set of walls right here. So... Um, what uh forgetting who the attacker was but uh i think it's like i don't know how to say her name kajla kajla i think it's a she i'm not sure uh, but anyway just comes in with the valks and by taking out these trash buildings the valks are kind of pushed through the wall so everything goes fine they make it into the core has the heels level five valks plus um the own valks that uh she brought in the cc uh everything moves in drops the heel i think has two heels for it but then the hog deployment, I think, is what gets it. All the hogs are deployed right on this area. And uh, I think considering the, how all the point defense is kind of out there, definitely could have spread out the hogs more because the point defense was distracted on the hogs for a while. But by the time the hogs worked their way through around the base, everything's died in the core and uh, the Valks are not, or the hogs are going to be targeted again. Even some balloons would have worked out well because all the air defenses pretty much go down. Everything's accessible. So some back-end balloons could definitely work instead of hogs. But if uh, hogs were uh, what she wanted to do, I think the better option would be to send in like maybe only four or five here, then start sprinkling them in as these defenses get distracted. That way you overwhelm them all at once while the Valks are taking in the core, the hogs take out the defenses because the way it went with the hogs going in in one big group, they all die too early. Um, or the Valks all die before the hogs get there to take out the defenses. So they don't really work together. They're two separate forces, which makes them a lot weaker on their own. So we'll take a look at the attack, see how it went. And uh, then we'll move on. Uh, be right back with the attack. All right, here we go with the attack. Uh, by Ka Kala. I'm not sure if the J is silent, uh, so I apologize if it's uh, I'm butchering his or her name. I'm not sure about the gender either. 
Uh, that's part of the problem with being a visitor in these kind of clans. Uh, but regardless, was a great attack. Um, did not mention the CC lure. That's uh, something uh, that pretty much happens with every Town Hall 8 attack. Uh, you can't really trust your kill squad to take it out, with, especially without a queen or anything. So it comes in here, nice little balloon, uh, one for one trade because uh, the Archer Tower was distracted. Now he actually doesn't end up getting the CC lure with the uh, the few hogs he sent it on the Archer Tower, or she sent it. On, obviously she she sent it on the Archer Tower, uh, so doesn't get the balloon lure at first. The dragon does come out though, goes ahead and drops the anchors at the bottom, and. Uh, I, I believe she just uh, lets the balloon stay in there, but the wizard makes a big difference. Uh, you can see only uses, I think, looks like two, maybe drops a third wizard, I think, right here. Maybe not. Maybe the archers just take it down. But still has a few wizards left in the bag right here, right there. Those wizards are going to step up. They create the funnel, but I think a few of them also kind of double back inside the base right here. So the Valks come in, goes ahead and brings wall breakers. I don't think they were needed at all. Because uh, you can see the Valks with just a few th swings are already almost through the wall. The wall breakers didn't help a whole lot. I don't think that was worth it. But anyway, not a huge deal. Uh, but the wizards, like I said, they're going to come in there and get that balloon, which is huge. Because if they don't, nothing else, the entire attack will get it taken out. So it might seem like a little thing, but um, those balloons have to be dealt with. Dragons, balloons, both uh, in some way or another. So... Uh, right there, the king and the Valks are going on the wall. That's actually perfect. Everything's going into the base just as planned. The king's ability is good. Uh, the, the second heal might have been a little late. Still holding on to it. Giant bombs are going off. There go the hogs. And I think the heal spell would have been better spent on the Valks themselves. Uh, but decides to uh, save them. And uh, right there, that's kind of a lost heal spell. Because at this point, there's way more hogs. So uh, at this point... Like I said, uh, it would have been better at the Valks at first, but by then, just save it for the Hogs, because by the time they get in it, their heal's already running out, they're already getting thinned out, there's a lot of point defense kind of spread out, so they're going to get picked off one by one, and uh, things are just going to kind of run out, not a whole lot of stuff for cleanup either, just the Valk or two on the wall right there. So anyway, uh, pretty solid plan. I think it was, uh, the first part went perfectly. I mean, the Valks going into the base, everything getting taken out, the core basically being destroyed, but uh, whether it was balloons or hogs, I think a little bit better deployment could have made the difference. And uh, I, I personally would have done balloons. I think the, the fact that all the air defenses could go down pretty easily uh, means balloons uh, are a good choice. But hogs would have worked, I think, had the heal been used better or at least the hogs been deployed a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and uh, uh, take a look at the plan for the second attack that got the three star. Uh, here we go with that. The attacker that actually got the three star was Mesoscale Vortex, comes in with a nice plan. And on cleanup attacks at Town Hall 8, sometimes you're going to see Valks or Dragons or something a little different. But most of the time, if you know where all three of the uh, giant bombs are, if you know where the Teslas are, a little less important, but that helps, uh, you can you can get the three star just using uh, a large force of hogs and, and working with the pathing and that's exactly what we see here so good uh, authentic example of what uh, you see at town hall eight uh, the plan is basically this he goes ahead and uh, starts off with a few hogs takes out the cannon comes in for the sea sealer and uh, this is interesting because ultimately he's going to send in suicidal hogs to trigger this right here um, could have sent in just one big force at the beginning to you know come in here get the lure and trigger this but I think that was the right decision to kind of have two separate pushes because uh, the CC troops are so going to be engaged so quickly on those hogs the dragon and the balloon would have taken them out the hogs would not have reached the uh, double giant bomb set to trigger it um, unless he sent in a ton of hogs which would have been a waste so it makes the right decision in my opinion uh, just gets the CC lure with like three hogs um, brings them down to the bottom, just, you know, drops archers, wizards, very easy kill. I think he even has the poisons because uh, no quakes and uh, uh, gets those taken out. From there, sends in a group of like seven hogs, uh, maybe even like eight hogs, so quite a few hogs. They come in, uh, trigger the double giant bomb set as they run over from there, so the pathing works out perfectly. Uh, gets a few defenses while he's at it. And then one thing that was really cool is the, the hogs were calculated perfectly knows he's confident that they're going to trigger that double giant bomb set so before they even path over it comes in with the uh, main force of hogs down like this 
this nice little runway, the hog lane, as I've said in previous videos, that's what I call it. A nice little lane for your hogs to go down and uh, has a heel for them and uh, his uh, planning works out perfectly. The double giant, giant bomb set's been triggered. So it has three heels just to drop all around this base as they um, work their way through. And uh, I think there's some max hogs in the CC, which obviously they're gonna do a ton of damage. So I uh, guess the base taken out pretty easily, has the heal for that uh, final uh, giant bomb, which uh, doesn't do a whole lot of damage to hogs under heal. So it crushes this base, and uh, I think even uses the king to tank for a little, for a few point defense, which was uh, cool too. So we'll take a look at the attack, and uh, then we'll close out this video. Okay, here we go with the attack. Um, you can see here, ton of hogs, only just a few wizards and archers. Everything else is being invested in the hogs. Comes in with, I think, four actually, if I counted that right, and uh, maybe three. Gets the CC lure, uh, takes out the one cannon, uh, so has the balloon, the dragon, which is very easy to kill, especially with the poison spell. So just drops that down, but remember, still has to engage the CC troops. They will run out of it if uh, there's no troops that they can uh, target. So make sure it has an archer, a uh, few archers, few wizards, but they're so slow, that dragon and the balloon in the poison spell, that it really only takes a few troops to take them out. Uh, just drops down a wizard, some more archers, and uh, saves the rest for cleanup. So yeah, that's done pretty easily. You can see he has four defenses in his path now until that double giant bomb set comes in with, it looks like, if I do the calculations right, seven hogs, and then boom, right away, drops down the king to tank for that two point defense. Great value, uh, use his hit points to your advantage. But then has those hogs moving through, and actually might have been, could have been closer had he not delayed it a little bit longer because uh, those hogs were already getting close to that wizard tower by the time they finally, uh, the other group triggered the double giant bomb sets. Uh, but luckily the pathing was fine anyway. They take a while to get to the wizard tower. Has that heal for the uh, giant bomb has even a nice poison for the skelly traps and the slow down the king a little bit so just pretty much a uh, perfect technical attack all around the base has that heal left over didn't even need it uh, crush this base good job using the king to tank there at the beginning that was awesome and then uh, yeah, I just thought it was really cool how has the confidence to sit back uh, you know send in the group of hogs to trigger it but immediately doesn't even you know make sure that the hogs will get it done has the has it planned out right and uh, is confident to send in the main group just kind of on the other side knowing they won't cross that double giant bomb set because the the group will get the job done so anyway awesome attack to vortex um hope you like this video a little bit of a different base destruction video for you guys by the way i am going to be an alpha for a little while i'm doing a war with them just because i wasn't in the uh fun little war we're doing in Genesis uh, didn't make the time uh, window so anyway I'm gonna have some one hive alpha content coming out which should be interesting not sure exactly what I'll do but any, anyway uh, thanks for the applications by the way for the clan drifter series you'll hear back from me at some point um, in the first uh, video should be coming out at some point too so hope you guys are excited I haven't decided anything yet but thanks for the applications going through them as we speak so uh, I'll get back to you guys and uh, yeah, coming out with more videos as always uh, tomorrow. See you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.